Welcome to Sustainably Schooled, your go-to resource for homeschooling and homesteading. I am your host, Chris Maisie from chrisandlarry.com. And today we are diving into the most important topic of creating a homeschool schedule. So establishing a flexible yet effective schedule can make all the difference in your homeschooling experience. We'll explore how to create and maintain a schedule that works for your family and share some different examples of daily and weekly schedules from different homeschooling families. So let's get started. Any items that we do mention on our podcast will be listed on the website www.sustainablyschooled.com under the specific podcast listing. So we don't delete anything, we just keep adding to. We want to make sure you have all of these resources right there at your fingertips. So let's just get right down to it. The importance of a homeschooling schedule. Having a well thought out schedule is crucial for homeschooling success. It provides structure, it helps manage time efficiency, um, and it ensures that all necessary subjects and activities are covered. However, flexibility with homeschoolers is the key. Here are some reasons why a schedule is important. So consistency, we'll start with this. A schedule creates a routine that helps children know what to expect each day. So for instance, um, let me think here. If you have an activity that you want to do, let's say you want to get up and do exercising every morning. 30 days is how long it takes your brain to retrain to get up every single day. And it's, you know, not a struggle per se, because you're doing it over and over again. So we have to use that same concept with our homeschool families. So consistency. So if you're going to get up and do schoolwork on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, every single day at 8 a.m., and you're going to do schoolwork in the afternoons on Tuesdays and Thursdays, let's say, make sure you're consistent with that over the next couple months so that it's the same routine for those kids. The next one is time management. It helps you allocate time for different subjects and activities, ensuring a balanced education. If you have five subjects you want to complete that day and you take three hours on the first one, well, that's not going to help your kids at all. So make sure you balance it out. That's why school schedules in public school are set to 45 minute classes or, or so. And then the next one is focus. A structured schedule minimizes distractions and keeps everyone on track. Okay, so making sure that you guys stay focused, finish tasks, get through the day, that's important. But flexibility is key. Having a son with autism, we learned that there are some days we are not going to do, but routine was incredibly important to him. So with flexibility, while structure is important, being able to adapt to your schedule to accommodate life's unpredictable, you know, unpredictable, um, predictable situations is equally crucial. Okay, steps to create a homeschool schedule. Creating a homeschool schedule might seem daunting, but breaking it down into steps can simplify the process. And here's how to get started. Set your priorities, determine which subjects or activities are most important for your child's education. Start with that. What do you want them to learn this month or this semester of school or this year in this school? So you want to set those priorities. Next, identify their learning style. We touched on that last week on the podcast. So make sure that you go back and, and revisit. On the website, it has a listing of what's in each uh, podcast too. So you can kind of get a feel for what you're going back to. So consider your child's learning style and peak learning times. Divide the day, break it into blocks of time for different subjects and activities. Incorporate breaks, schedule reg regular breaks for your kids. They, it'll keep them refreshed and focused and, and ready to get on with the day. 
my son Tristan has ADHD. So we would do 15 minutes of school and five minutes of jumping on the trampoline and then go back to the schoolwork. Even if we were breaking up that subject, we were still getting 15 good minutes and then able to get him to refocus. So again, plan for flexibility. Allow for adjustments as needed. Life happens and sometimes your plans change. Then review and adjust. So go back every month at the end of the month or the first of the month, let's say, and review your schedule to see what's working and what needs adjustment. Now we just added a homeschool um, printable um, calendar planner in our on our website under the um, homeschool products. So check that out. It's seven bucks. Um, you can print it as many times as you want, and it will help you be able to create a binder with a schedule in it just for homeschooling. All right. Um, examples of some daily schedules for homeschooling families. And we'll have these um, printables free for you guys when we have this down um, on the website as well. So let's look at some examples of daily schedules from different homeschooling families. These examples can provide some inspiration to show you how diverse and flexible homeschooling schedules can be. So the first example, a very structured schedule. They've got breakfast at nine, or excuse me, breakfast at eight, math at nine, uh, language arts at 10, science at 11, lunch and break at, at noon, the history at 1 p.m., and electives at two. So this is a very, very structured. This is what we're doing at this time every single day. A second example we've got here is a very flexible schedule. So, and this is how we set up my homeschool for my kids, okay? So this says breakfast at 8.30 and then your morning routine. At 9.30, we're going to do a core subject and we rotate every day. 11 is a break or free time play. 11.30 is a themed unit study, let's say, for an hour, and then lunch and outdoor time. Afternoon comes and you can do some hands-on projects and electives at 3.30, let's say, and family time and chores at 4.30. Now, ours is very different in that sense as we have our chores in the morning and then we have breakfast and we do all of our electives in the afternoon. But this is more of that routine um of the flexible schedule. Now, a third example I can give you is an interest-led schedule. This is if you're doing more of an unschooling with your kids. The morning routine and breakfast at nine, child-led learning activity at 10, maybe a nature walk or outdoor exploration at 11.30, lunch at 12.30 and some relaxation, 1.30, let's do some reading and storytelling, 2.30, creative arts, four, o'clock, let's say life skills or household chores, and five o'clock is free play and family time. So there are three different examples, and we will have a printable PDF for you to kind of uh, adjust your own and be able to print that for free on our website. Okay, weekly schedule examples. Um, so in addition to a daily schedule, you might need to have a weekly schedule to help ensure balance um, and comprehensive education experience. So let's get a couple of examples here. So for instance, a themed weekly schedule could be Mondays are math and science, Tuesdays are language arts, Wednesday, Wednesdays are art and music, um, Thursdays you could do STEM projects like experiments, maybe throw history in there, Friday, field trips and outdoor learning, and Saturday, family projects and skills. We leave our Sundays for a free day in, in preparation for the next week. I actually write out all my curriculum um, ahead of time um, by semester. So another example could be uh, a rotational weekly schedule. So do morning blocks of core subjects, afternoon blocks of enrichment. This is how we set up our homeschool. We do all of our core in the morning and then the kids have their electives um, after lunch. So it could be art, music, PE, foreign language, cooking, 
and we rotate it throughout the week. So you decide what you want to do. So morning, let's say you want math on Mondays and language arts on Tuesdays and, and go from there and rotate them. Friday, review and catch up with any focus areas that you need extra attention. So there's two different weekly samples for you. Again, this printout will be on our website. Now, once you've created your schedule, maintaining is the next challenge. So here are some tips to help you keep on track. Be consistent, stick with your schedule. Just as much as possible. It doesn't have to be, this is written in stone, but stick with your schedule. Be flexible when needed. So stay organized, keep materials and resources organized to save time and reduce stress. That has been my biggest heartbreak is, mom, I can't find my, my paper. I can't find my pencil. Well, put them all in the same place and we will find them. Involve your child and get the, their input and make them a part of your scheduling. If you have a teenager that is not a morning teenager, and I have a few of those over the years, um, don't make them get up at 6 a.m. If they don't need to, make them part of the scheduling process. If they like to do their free read at night, don't schedule that first thing in the morning. All right, the next thing is always take breaks. Ensure those regular breaks to avoid burnout for both you and your child. Um, have snack time. Have a recess time for your little kids. That doesn't mean that they aren't getting their regular school. It just means maybe they can go out and jump on the trampoline or ride their bike um, around for a few minutes every single day at a certain time. Just write that into your schedule so they get some outdoor time. And then adjust as needed. Don't be afraid to make changes if someone, something isn't working. Your schedule has to serve you, not the other way around. You're not serving your schedule. You will be a very happy person if you, your schedule serves you. All right. So this is just a suggestion, but suggested hours per day for different grades. Remember, homeschoolers do not have to school from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. every single day. They do not. Public schools are structured where kids are taking out pencils and using the bathroom and you have to wait for others for group activities and you have to have all this extra time. So keep that in mind when you're making your homeschool schedule. So a common question I always get is how many hours a day should be dedicated to homeschooling for children of different ages? Like how do I work it when I had preschoolers and elementary and middle and high school all at the same time? Because I did at one point. Every family and child is unique. So here are some general guidelines. So kindergarten to grade two, one to two hours of core, and then they're extra. Okay, so always think the hours I'm giving you are the core, so math, English, science, history. If you're doing art and hands-on and music and other things, those are above and beyond these, these. So for kindergartner, one to two hours per day. You focus on basic literacy, um, your numbers, plenty of play-based learning. All right, when it comes to grades three through five, two to three hours per day includes a more structured learning in core subjects along with your creative activities. Grades six through eight is three to four hours per day. A more balanced approach with increasing focus on independent study um, and critical thinking skills. And then lastly, you've got your high school, your nine to 12. Now, high schoolers need between four and six hours a day. They have comprehensive study with an emphasis on in-depth subject learning, projects and preparation for higher education or vocational. Um, these are very, very flexible guidelines. Again, so it's important to adjust based on your child's individual needs and their interests and attention spans. Remember, quality of learning is more important than quantity of hours. So thank you for joining us today on this episode of Sustainably Schooled. Creating a homeschool schedule that works for your family can take some trial and error. But with these tips and examples, 
you are well on your way to establishing that routine that fosters a productive and enjoyable learning environment. If you have any questions or want to share your own experiences, reach out to us on social media. Um, we are on Facebook and we are on Instagram and all of the links are on our website or go to our, our website, either sustainablyschooled.com or chrisandlarry.com. Now, one more thing I do want to mention today. I have a friend who has put together a curriculum website on Facebook. So it's educating with Amazon products and she's written curriculums to go along with different, um, different items that you might find useful in your homeschool. It could be used for regular homeschoolers for ESA. Not everything on there is something I personally would use, but definitely check out her uh, group on um, Facebook. And I will put that link down below too. Now, until next week, we're going to... We're going to actually talk a little bit about homeschooling and socialization, myths and realities next week. Until then, happy homeschooling and happy homesteading. This has been the Sustainably Schooled podcast. See you next week. Mm -hmm.